Exploratory Laboratory Instruments presented by Andaya J. Levy, SN3B. Exploratory Laparotomy or XLAP is a surgery to open up the belly area. This is done to find the cause of problems when testing could not diagnose the problem. It is also used when an abdominal injury needs emergency medical care and this surgery uses one large cut or incision. So the instruments used are as follows. Number one is the Rochester pain artery forcep. So the Rochester pain artery forcep is used to pump larger blood vessels and control blood flow. The second one is the toothed and non-toothed forceps. The non-toothed forcep is for fine handling of tissues and traction during dissection. The toothed one is for handling dense tissues such as during closure and manipulating of the needle. The third one is the Mayo scissors. Mayo scissors are available as straight or curved and in a variety of lengths. They have a standard beetle blade and while the curved instrument is most commonly utilized for cutting or dissecting dense or deep tissue and the straight version is typically used for cutting surface tissue or sutures, both of these mayo scissors, straight or curved, can be used interchangeably depending on procedure and physician preferences. Fourth one is the deeper retractor. So the deeper retractor is used to widen the surgical incision and hold the larger organs contained inside the abdominal cavity during a wide range of general surgery procedures. Dissecting or tonsil scissors are used for cutting and sectioning of tissues. The Kelly hemostatic forceps are used for clamping large blood vessels or manipulating heavy tissue. Towel clamps are used to fasten drapes or towels to patients during medical procedures in order for them to stay on. Scalpel handle are used to hold the scalpel blade. Abdominal self-retaining retractor. This type of retractor is used during a laparotomy in which abdominal incisions need to remain open to uncover the area. Additionally, this retractor is self-retaining which allows it to be held in place to allow the surgeon to focus on the task and avoid holding it. Alice tissue forcep. This tissue forcep is for the use of firmly grabbing or holding body tissue during surgery. This teeth curve to the inside and may cause less harm to the tissue because of decreased general pressure applied to the area. The Bobcock forceps are used to hold a shorter section of the intestine with minimal trauma or constriction. These forceps are polished to a dull satin finish to minimize glare below operating room lights. Culture or kosher rather, hemostatic forceps. This contains a 1 by 2 teeth on straight or curved jaws to avoid slippage when trying to grip arteries. Adson tissue forceps are used for holding and manipulating delicate tissues. Straight and curved artery forceps are used for as a hemostatic agent to seize blood flow in vessels, they may also be used to grab and maneuver delicate tissues. The Yankor suction tube are used to remove fluid or debris away from the surgical site with a tip that can be removed to allow access to tighter spaces. The sponge holding forceps are for grasping, holding, and mobilizing surgical dressings and for soaking up excess fluids. 
needle holding forceps used with small needles and fine suture material commonly in plastic surgery or subcutaneous procedures. U.S. Army Navy double-ended retractor commonly utilized to retract incisions that are small or shallow. The Richardson retractor it is a long retractor that can be used during procedures such as chest or abdominal surgery to grasp tish soft tissues during using the curved blade. Last one is the Morris retractor, which is used to widen the incision edges or wound borders during a broad range of surgical procedures especially those involving the thoracoabdominal areas.